Hey everyone, and welcome to my Conqueror Mark II tank review. Before we get into the details of this review though, uh, I just want to add, if you enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and a comment, and if, you, you're, if you're interested in supporting me further, then please check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Alright, so let's get into this. What is the new premium, and what is it like to play? In my typical fashion, I'm not going to go over the stats. Uh, well, I say that. <laughs> I'll touch on a few of them, but I'm not going to go through every single stat and list off just number after number because I find that's, well, not very helpful because it's just numbers. What's it like to play? What's it like to take this thing out into a game? All right, so that's what we're going to, that's how we're going to approach this. Right, yesterday saw the introduction of the Conqueror Mark II. It's Cold War, Era 2, tank I'm taking out here. It will set you back 13,500 gold or 47 pounds. I'm not exactly sure what 47 pounds is in dollars, so I'll put that up on the screen now, but the 13,500 package is the cheapest. There is another package that comes with the hero skin, which I believe is uh, just under 16,000 gold, so that's, pro I don't know, probably not £47, that's probably more like £75. Either way, it's expensive. Alright, so for those of you that are short of time, here is my really quick short review. Don't buy the Conqueror Mark II. The mid-era tech tree Conqueror isn't a brilliant tank, and the Conqueror Mark II isn't really any better than the tech tree version, which is sad. Very sad, in my opinion. If you want a good Conqueror, go and play the World War II variants. Go and play the Tier 9 Conqueror to earn yourself the Tier 10 Super Conqueror. Those That gaming experience is exactly what a Conqueror is supposed to be in World of Tanks. That's the experience it's supposed to provide you. Right. On to the slightly more detailed review. The glaring issue with the Conqueror Mark II is that it just doesn't hold up to the competition around it and that's the that's the issue strictly speaking it's not a bad tank and the game i have here the one that you're watching right now is proof that it's not a terrible tank the problem it's got is that everything else around it is better you know we've we've just had the release of the fv4211 it's better as far as premiums go, you know, you've got uh, other premiums in the game, like the various T-72s. They're just better. And that's the problem with this tank. Everything else around it is better. As of right now, the only other Conqueror in Cold War is the Mark I, which is the Tech Tree version. Fully upgraded, the Tech Tree Mark I is better in these following areas. It has better turret rotation, 100 more hit points, and 140 more horsepower. And what you saw me trying to do there was block that light tank from going around behind me, but he blatted me in the side with a missile and tracked me. So my plan didn't work out, but, you know, still got a few shots into him. Anyway, the only thing that's really going for the Mark II is the gun. It has a DPM of 4,176 compared to 3,428 on the Mark I. Everything else about these two tanks is the same. Same top speed, same armor, and if you've already played the Cold War Conqueror, the Tech Tree version, you'll know that on its own, it's, it's nothing really to write home about. If the Conqueror Mark II were the first, if it was the first British premium in Era 2, I might be slightly swayed towards saying you should get one because you know it would be the first thing available to us uh, we we don't know what's coming next it's got you know it's got a bit of um historical significance the conqueror it's a it's a unique looking vehicle so yeah you know i i, I might have been swayed if it had been the first premium available to us but the trouble is it isn't for for 6000 gold you can get the FV4211 with the Ultimate Season Pass that still has 
like a month to go. So even if you don't buy the Ultimate Season Pass, you can still probably earn the FV. And the FV is hands down the better tank by a country mile. And that's, that's not the only thing that's pulling the Mark II down. If, like me, you've played the World War II Conqueror and Super Conqueror, or you own them, you're already familiar with how Conquerors should play. You already know what it's like to get into one of these tanks and take it out onto the battlefield. Or at least, <laughs> you think you would know. And, unfortunately, the Conqueror Mark II just... It doesn't play the same way. If you try and play the Mark II the same way you play the World War II Conqueror or the Super Conqueror, you're not going to have fun because you'll get penned straight through the front of your turret in the Mark I and the Mark II. And the fact that that is true does kind of beg the question, I already, well, I'm in a heavy tank, right? So you'd expect there to be some kind of resemblance to a playstyle, a heavy playstyle working with this tank. Um, but you've got poor hull armor because it's a conqueror. You've got poor turret armor because, well, reasons, I don't know. So how are you supposed to play this thing like a heavy? You know, the, 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 the next tank above this one is the Chieftain. And the Chieftain has, you know, better mobility. It's got that going for it. The Chieftain can run away. Sort of, you know. I don't think the Chieftain's ever been famous for being able to run away, but when you compare it to this thing, the Conqueror, the Chieftain can certainly, you know, maneuver and get itself out of trouble a lot more than this thing can. And it just... <sighs> It just leaves me wondering, like, what, what, what place does this tank have? What, what's it, what's it doing? You know, what's it, what's it trying to be? Um, if, because of the gun, you could say that this is a sit back and snipe kind of tank, but that kind of vehicle description already exists in the game, and that's a tank destroyer. But tank destroyers have concealment. And the Mark II doesn't. Because it's not a tank destroyer. And... Uh, I don't know. I'd, uh, hopefully by now you can see where this is going. The Conqueror Mark II... Just... I don't know. It's not a bad tank if everything in the game works out for you. And the team does what it needs to do. And... If everything j just goes to plan with your team, like this game has, you can have a good game. You, you can. But I'd say seven, eight times out of ten, you're going to struggle. And for the cost of this tank, I mean, 13,500 gold, 47 pounds, my goodness, that's a lot of money for a tank that's not really any better than a tank that you can play for free because this is a free to play game after all and even though it's got good dpm and the gun is good that's just not enough it's not enough for this tank to be pulled into the i want this tank category in my mind it it's just you'd be better off getting the fv you'd be better off getting almost any other tank and i say that as i get mvp in my first game of the day uh, just save your money, guys. Just save your money. And even though I got 264,000 silver there, it's got a 55% silver boost, this thing. But there are there are tanks in Era 2 that have better boosts than that. M60, the, the, the Rise, the M60 Rise has a 65% boost. That's a solid tank. More maneuverable, guns good, better silver. This tank just, it just doesn't seem... It just doesn't seem to, to work. It just doesn't seem to have its place in the game, given everything that's going on around it. And on that slightly disappointing note, that's about all I have to say for this one, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, if not a dislike. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and as always, I hope you're all still keeping safe, and I'll see you out there.